Hello. Hi. How are you? This is Laurel. Laurel with the dabbling hook. Hope you guys are doing well. I am precariously perched right now. I'm in my chair, but I'm surrounded because I've done a little retail therapy. It was needed. A couple of people know why it's needed. You may or may not hear barking in the background. Yes, barking in the background. I am self-soothing with a white Zinfandel and Merlot mixture. I needed both of my favorites for strength because they, not we, they got a dog. I did a little retail therapy to soothe myself, starting with white Zinfandel and Merlot. Um, and also a new camera. I broke down and, and just bought one. I got a G7, Canon G7 Mark II. Um, I think it's a very popular one. Um, more than I wanted to spend, but you know. Um, oh, excuse me. So I have to say thank you to you guys. Um, it was partially funded by the bags and the pattern sale, so I am eternally grateful. Soothing. So, um, I have a freshly charged battery and a 64 gig um, card in there. So this is my first time and the, the whining has started back there. Now, I know there are a lot of dog lovers out there. I'm not a dog hater. I'm just not a dog in the house person. On top of that, I have very sensitive, I have a very sensitive nose and I'm very sensitive to smells. So much so, I barely made it through pregnancy because I could smell everything during pregnancy, especially the first time. Second time around, I was a little distracted by having a little one and then, you know, being pregnant. But the first time, oh, first time I barely made it. And that's never left. Um, so my house, the downstairs of my house smells like a dog. I am trying to live with it, but um, I'm failing right now. Well, I'm not failing, I'm having a really hard time, so. I'm having a really hard time. So, I'll be soothing a lot. And there's a little screen at the top. I'm gonna try to look at you guys instead of myself on the screen, so that may fail too. Anyway, so. Um, hi. <laughs> all that before saying welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome to everyone coming back. Thank you for, as Z does, for <laughs> giving me a hug because I need it. Because I'm going out of my mind. Okay, enough about that. So, like I said, you may hear whining and occasional bark, something like that. So, we're here for yarn though. Yes, we are. Um, and I don't know where to start. Um, I'm home for a second week because thankfully my sister is able to cover for this. Um, this week is uh, April vacation, school vacation. So um, it's sort of school vacation because Minion 1 will be working and doing his usual. But Minion 2 is in driving school, virtual driving school. So yeah, um, you may hear voices in the background too. Hopefully, I'm able to figure out this whole new setup and camera and sound and all that. So, we'll see. What are we talking about today? Um, yarn, retail therapy. Uh, let's see. I wrote, I took notes. One, I was tagged by Priscilla in a different tag that's going around. It's, uh, it's called Tag Your It. Something to do with hooks. I will get to that. I haven't gotten to that yet. I've been a little... Work busy. Last week coming home, you know, it's all about catching up and then so hopefully I can get things done this week. I was trying to um, last week start on some bags, but that just didn't happen because, you know, life and work and their new addition. Um, the new camera I mentioned and we got snow. Can you believe we got snow? We got snow. Like, not like a little 
we would have like a little it's a, if it's cold enough there would be a little dusting or sometimes a little bit of hail and then it'll be gone this was like hours of snow now thankfully it warmed up not warmed up so much it rained um towards the end of the snowing so i think it may it snowed most of the morning um into early afternoon and then it turned to rain and then by the end of the day pretty much all the snow thankfully was gone but it was cold <laughs> it was cold and it was windy and it was unpleasant so but at least it melted it's all gone actually i think 99.9% .9 of it's gone if if you find little corners where you don't get sun or it's very windy then you'll see a little bit of snow but it's pretty much all gone so yeah we had snow let's see minion one had dental work done and you've seen the videos with um where people react to the um, anesthesia. <laughs> he had a bit of that. No, I won't show you. I won't embarrass him like that, but it was quite hilarious. Totally brightened up my day. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Um, whips. <sighs> Stash of shells. Oh, by the way, this is a bag by um, Kim the Crafty Nomad. Uh, it's got little, let's see, is it gonna focus? Yay! It's got little hedgehogs, which I love, which I want, now I want to make one, because I've made a few, I made a few last year, no, the year before, and now I want to, now this is one of her older, I don't want to say style bags, but interface bags, where she used a, like a, it's a, not a, not a fleece-like, but a thin, but, um, more rigid, um, interfacing, but, yeah, so, Stash of Shells is in here. Um, ah, you'll see them walking around. Um, I'm trying to leave it visible and take it with me places so that I, I want to finish it this year. First, I got to figure out where I was in the pattern, but you know, that'll come in due time. Um, I think this is most, if not all, of the rest of the yarn I have, but it's all in there. So, nothing was done with that, is what I'm trying to say, but it's out there. Um, the it's over there line of shawl um i put i think maybe like four or five rows on that this week no between uh the week before when i was in boston and last week i think i put about four or five rows on there but uh, i used a smaller needle than i should have um i think i used 4.5 with worsted and i should have done at least a five or five and a half to make it a little flowier um yeah i went down too small i think and I'm using a Karen cake. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's not it. What did I do with it? Hold on. Yeah. So I am looking for another bag. Oh, it's over there. So I am using the Karen cake in um, I think cherry chip. Uh, do do Yep, cherry chip. And this is, this is it there, um, but there's also like a dark red, reddish brown in there. So, oops. So it's just like your basic boomerang um, type uh, asymmetric shawl, but with, this one has the, the eye holes in it um, on one end. Was it on both? On one end. And then what I did, just to break it up, I started just plain, and then just to break it up, I decided, I don't know if you can see it, I decided just to throw eye holes, eyelets. I decided to throw eyelets in there, randomly, wherever I felt like it. So, um, I've only done two, and I might be adding another one soon, but I'm in towards the end of a row. And a lot of people say they don't stop in the middle of the row. Right now, I'm just doing plain knitting, um, nothing complicated, so I have no problem with that, knowing where I am and you know where to pick up. I'm sure if I was doing a complicated pattern, that would probably be an issue. Oh, good Lord, what am I doing? I'm tangling myself up. Okay, but anyway, that's where I am on that. Got the neighborhood ladies taking their walks, the older ladies taking their walk. And then I have it in a bag by when she was uh, a little Xenia patch, but now she's the crocheting house mouse. But this is a bag by Angelia. She used to make bags. 
and sell way too cheap um, but I have quite a few of her bags but yeah that, that was one of hers so that's that Oop. and I was using am using some Knitter's Pride um, needles so, and keeping that in there that's that next um, I started where did I do with it oh I've been wanting to make um, an Emineko. Fact, I don't like cats. I'm sorry for all the cat lovers. It's just, it's not my thing. I don't like cats. Um, I'm a bit of a germaphobe and the thought of cats on, especially people who have cats in their kitchens, do you? It's just not for me. But, and when I was pregnant the first time where we lived, the people next door, they were um, alcoholics and, um, mentally unstable uh, so much so that the brother who was worse for wear I came home one day and he was sitting in my driveway and here I am I think I was like seven months pregnant to pull up and see him sitting in my driveway was not fun um, so but anyway they had cats they didn't take care of cats because they weren't capable of and they just kept multiplying and multiplying and um, cat feces can give off stuff that's um, very bad for anyone who's pregnant and they were all over the neighborhood so much so that the the neighbor behind them had a vegetable garden and he used to find surprises in there all the time and you always knew when he found it because you would hear a loud curse and you would see him shoveling whoops the surprises back over to them on their side of the yard so yeah and we ended up having to call because we couldn't even use our backyard because there were so many cats there doing their business all over the neighborhood um, we had to call animal control. Our town at the time didn't have any kind of ordinances. They now do. Um, but they ended up calling because, you know, my husband wrote that we were, that I'm pregnant and all that. And animal control came. And at last count, before we stopped counting, they had, I think, 26 cats they had already taken out. So it's like every time you look out the window, there was like another litter of cats strolling around. So anyway, long story long, cats are not my thing. <laughs> That's not to say anything about people who have their cats and take care of their cats. But all this to say, the Emineko is my favorite amigurumi pattern. Anyone who asks me if they to recommend, I always tell them that. It looks harder than it is. It was the very first thing I um, amigurumi that I crocheted. And it's it's easy. It's like other than a couple of increases and decreases. It's very simple and I think the hardest part would be sewing everything on and we know a lot of people don't like sewing on. Um, there is, uh, I think it's on Ravelry, there's a group that has all about the Amineko and they have a um, join as you go method in there as well. I may have downloaded it somewhere but I have no idea where it is right now. But I always sew my pieces on except I don't do the head and the body separate, I do them as one. But anyway, all this to say that I've uh, made limbs and I took it with me to bed last night because oh by the way I got my first shot and on Thursday and I was fine all day and then towards the end of the day I went to get up and lift my arm and it started to hurt really bad and then um, Friday I was feeling very um, a little dizzy so I went to bed early and I slept a lot. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. And then um, Saturday, I was fine, except it's still just a little sore. But I, I went to bed early again, and I took stuff with me to start that. And I took a little, of course, I'm latteing it. You know. Oh, I gotta get my face out of there, right? Can you get pick up? No, come on. All right, I'm gonna have to f figure out how it works. No? There you go. It's a little slow. I latte it. I'm latteing the paws and I'll do some on the ears and whatever else I feel like. But I ran out basically. All this to say I ran out of um, latte on the last arm. So I gotta do that. And I'm using... Oh, one second. I'm using retro stripes. I know everyone is like... I almost said up in arms, but everyone's all about finding this. I think Kim, blue, uh, not Blue Cherub, Crafty Nomad, I think you were looking for it. 
Uh, my Michaels definitely doesn't have any, but my Joann's was fully stocked with it, so I only got one. But it depends on how... Um, are you going to slowly focus? Alright. As you can tell, I have to um, figure out the focusing on here. Nope, not going to do it. I think it needs my face. Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, I got um, retro stripes. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Ugh. Temperamental. Um, depending on how it looks when it works up, I may go back and get another one and do... <sighs> there was something else I wanted to make and I can't. I didn't write it down. And if things aren't written down, good Lord, I don't remember. But I'm making it a retro stripes. So that's a whip. And I've been going for 16 minutes and not showing a whole lot. My other whip, active whip, that I have, um, actually no, there's one more after that, but I am determined to do socks in smaller and smaller yarns. The first one was in super bulky. Um, I decided to do it in worsted this time, and I'm using, which is no more, my last skein of Big Twist Sincerely in the Speckled. They got rid of all the speckled colorway. So, there. This, and this is called Americana Confetti. Americana Confetti. And this is what it looks like worked up. And I am doing a worsted weight sock, and it's huge. I'm surprised. It, I'm using, well, I'm using a four and a half millimeter needles. And it's just, it's ginormous. And I'm sure I will be pulling it out once I'm done. But I'm doing, I want to do, uh, so, I want to do socks toe up because I like long socks so I want to start at the toe and then do it and then use up as much of the yarn as I can and, and go all the way up but right now I'm just doing uh, top down and I'm following the um, no fear uh, sock class by oh, what is her name she's earth tone earth tone girl but I forget what her Denise I think her name's Denise I'll put a link to that below but um I'm following her tutorial and I think I did I know I did this side is fine and I'm sure you can't see it with all that but on this side my decreases I think I was supposed to slip a stitch um, just at the first time and I kept slipping a stitch so it looks odd not slip I was supposed to knit through the back loop for the first time first one to close up the hole and I kept doing that um, because they look the decreases look different on both sides but I don't care because I think I know what I did but it's huge it's ginormous it's like bigger than slipper socks it's like for Paul Bunyan size feet but I was able to follow along do the heel flap and gusset this is a slip stitch heel so the only thing is it's been days and days. I was pretty good about doing it daily and then I kind of I'm at that point where I know I put things down and, and they get forgotten so which is why I'm keeping the stash of shells there and this there because I want to finish it and right now I just have to keep knitting for as long as I want before I start doing the the toe. So anyway Earth Tone, Earth Tone Girl um, which is Denise and her No Fear Sock Class so um, I plan on following other people to see, you know, which works best so far. This is this has been working out, so. And I know I'll have to follow somebody else for a toe-up sock, because I don't think she has one. There. Okay, so those are my, nope, I was going to say those are my active whip. I have one more active whip. What did I do with it? Right here. So, I decided, excuse me, while I pick up stuff I knocked over, and I soothe. not a bad Merlot. Um, I asked the guy at the the wine store. Well, this is a liquor store. Uh, or a packy store. Here in the, the east, they call them package stores. I don't know if it's the same where you are. Um, but that particular business has two locations where they have everything. Um, and then they have another uh, satellite location where they just sell wine. And softer stuff in wine. 
but the place where I got this, they have um, they have a little cafe in it, and they make awesome sandwiches in there. A little pricey, but ugh, it's so good. So good. So I mixed. But anyway, all this to say, I set myself a unofficial goal of crocheting a garment, or not just crocheting, finishing a garment. So I decided. Instead of following a pattern, because I have at least three bags of cardigans or or sweaters or something that are just sitting there unfinished. One of them I ran. I was using scraps, and I ran out of cotton scraps, and I couldn't find um, an equivalent weight one to to continue, and it's just there. So I really I think need to just pick a yarn and finish it, or just scrap the whole thing. One is getting pearly with it. Um, she has a uh, My Boy Lollipop I started, and I know I'll have no idea where I am, so I'm going to have to restart that. And then, um, what else? And then I have another cardigan that I started. Um, it's by, oh, what is her name? Her name, Carmen is her name. I think she's from Switzerland, Sweden. No. Oh, I forget what her. I'll put it on the channel on the screen what her channel name is, but it was one of her patterns that I started, and I don't know. I think I started with particular yarns that I had, maybe cotton again, and I ran out, and again I couldn't find equivalent. So I keep rambling, prattling today. Um, all this to say, I want to finish, so I decided to just wing it. <laughs> Oh, I'm going on a tangent. I decide to wing it and just do what I think would be a sweater. So I started with um, single crochet rib. And, you know, I made it as wide as I wanted. I think I added a little extra, which will probably be too wide, but that's okay. It'll be a cozy whatever when it's done. I'm using Dollar Tree yarn, and I shouldn't have started it with that. Um... Or at least I should have mixed up colors so I'll be okay because the color that I chose, which was, I don't have the, I think it's taupe or something, but I can't find it in any of the Dollar Trees around. They have other colors now, but they don't have this one. I do have a light, almost grayish, light taupeish color that I might use for um, the, the, what do you call it the collar and the arm cuffs and just let it be but I will put in a video of me trying on I had already seamed the back and the two front panels because um, I wanted a cardigan I'm more of a cardigan than as well I'm a sweater person when I'm not this big <laughs> but now that I am this big I love a cardigan so um, I have my sweaters from when I was not this big still packed away because they were ones that I loved and I wore all the time. <sighs> One day if I ever get my crap together. But anyway, I'll put in a little clip of me um, modeling what I have done so far and then I will show you. It's just simple. It's just double crochets and again. All right. So the camera just blinked out. So I don't know what that means. And I'm hoping it means that it's a limit of how long it can record for, which stinks because my SD card is way big enough for that. So I hope. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't like big sleeves. That's one of the reasons I don't make those, um, what is it called? The campfire cardigans and those cocoon things. I don't like the big billowy sleeves. This is gonna have a bit of a big sleeve, but I'm okay with that. But I am decreasing as I go until it's, uh, I'm gauging my arm and decreasing as I go because you know, you start big and you go small and I'm, yeah, 
I'm, I'm trying that. I should have done something a little different here. It's a little bulbous there, but decreasing as I go, throwing in again the cross, double crochet for interest. So that's sleeve one on the way. And I've gotten to a point where, um, oops, did I drop something? Hang on, sorry. I have this much left of the skein that I'm using for the sleeve. And then I had started this before, um, held double because I wanted something chunky and I thought I'd be able to find more of this and I can't. So I ended up, um, what did I do with it? Actually, it was a different, um, no, I didn't start double. I started with a chunky one and they don't have the chunky one anymore. So I stopped because this, I decided to double up and add to that, but they're not the same color. And this was thicker than the chunky. So I stopped. So I just have this sitting there cause I can't find the chunky anymore. And so now to do the second sleeve, I'm gonna have to separate doubled up yarn. One of the reasons I don't like doubling up yarn to get a thicker gauge because if you ever pull it out then you have to separate those two and it's just it's such a pain. But anyway my first cardigan is underway and I'm at the point where I'm starting to peter out and I'm trying to keep myself engaged. So that's that. All right, All right. let's see. So I think maybe I have a half hour of recording time so it's stuck because I wanted the camera so that I'd be able to not run out of space like I do on my phone anyway enough of that all right um, let's talk about foes foes um, pretty sure I didn't show these before and if I did my apologies but um, and I'm trying to tag my things as I go because what I do, I make things and I toss them and then when it comes time for craft fair, then I have to sit there and then tag a whole bunch of stuff. So I got tags on them. But um, this is the peep pattern by I forget who. I will put the link below. If I show this already, I apologize. But this, I misread the pattern. Um, so I think I added a couple extra and then I forgot a couple of rows in the head. This is what the pattern is supposed to look like. Obviously, this is, you know, blanket yarn and this is worsted, but um, yeah. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, and this also, I stuffed it with this yarn, so it's not as stretchy. So it's it's a bit on the stiff side, but I gave it a good face, so it looks like it was intentional. <laughs> so those are peeps. Um, and I have a custom request to do many octos for somebody and these are just samples and um, they wanted rattles uh, I tried it in cotton oh, cotton such a pain to work with at least a regular cotton I haven't tried the softer ones yet but I did two and you can hear the rattles and you're waiting to see what the gender is so I need to remake and find some different yarn and I think I know what I'm going to use. But, yeah. So these are there as samples. And then I had first made this and forgot to put the rattle in. So, no rattle. So that's that. And then... Hats. I made a bunch of hats. I made a mini Dobrilla hat. I just wanted to see what it would be like. It's a bit on the stiff side because I, I use Karen Simply Soft. But um, I used a three and a half millimeter hook. And look, it's just, it's so adorable. I adore it. It's just so adorable. Three and a half millimeter. So this would be for like a newborn. Ah, uh, I love it. 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 I hope that's focusing. Ah, uh, I gotta figure that out. Sorry, maiden voyage without the... Oh, there you go. Oh, I love it. It's all about the texture. All right, so that's that. And then I made a bunch of hats. I was cranking on the machine 
and I have a machine question remind me but um, I had bought this blue of the Dollar Tree yarn and I decided when I went looking for the the taupe that I couldn't find I picked up some more just to make some hats so first I had bought this navy blue color and um, I used it I forget why I made it this short but this is a little one and I don't know if they'll accept that because it's way below so maybe not I might not send that but it's hat not hate but what I did I picked up three other colors or two other colors and I combined them and then you know again just for interest let me see in the back here with my join but yeah I just added them all together so depends on who you know they could wear it as a slouchy or if they want it closer as a beanie you can always cuff it so but it gives you interest and this one I tried doing it so that whichever side you do it you'll still have the blue the navy blue peeking out so and the same for this yeah yep 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 and I think yeah this one's the same too it's just a bigger blue cuff so yeah some hat not hates I think I have two others out there so I'll add that and I don't I doubt because are they just sending it to teenagers and not to little kids because this would be I guess way too small huh then somebody might like a little um, scully cap and this would work perfectly but I might send it anyway all right so I had some leftover not enough to make a hat so I just made a headband out of that so that'll go in inventory and then I now officially have one and about a half skeins of Karen Simply Soft an autumn red and a black half of a black skein but this was the last of my persimmon colorway that I have and then I did a whole bunch of hats I used up the last of my roll with a tweed that I had gotten on Clarence and from one cake I got three headbands and I th yeah three headbands I think they were roll with a tweed and not mandala tweed I don't remember I think it was roll with a tweed but I got three headbands one two three and these are all from the same cake so that is awesome that you know you get all the different colorways without even trying so that's that and then from the other cake I got two hats so there's this here it looks like that and then the other side Oop, shoot my nail just got snagged somewhere there's this so yeah the boy wants to wear it he goes that way the girl wants to wear it she goes that way or vice versa because you know you get to do you and then this one just reminds me of Florida sunshine that other side and then this so yeah it depends if you're more of the pinky person you do that if you're more of the cool blue person you do that and then I had some of the bright um, red heart yarns and then what did I do this one I quite like this color I think I did something in this colorway I don't remember ages ago this and I love this side because it's just it's coming out blown out on the screen to me but like here is blown out on the screen but it's more deep you know fuchsia color it's just love it love it I don't know I don't know if it focuses but I love it is that then there's this one I think is parrot parrots oh it's just so blown out on screen right now but oh that yep funny this one's a little truer on screen a little blown out yeah this is looking really orangey but it's more reddish orange but yeah very tropical there's that and then I think that was the same yarn 
I was able to get that out of it. Oh, love it. Blown out on screen, but yeah. So yeah, if you want the scully versus the slouchy. So that's with the red heart yarns going in inventory. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, I just realized I had one more. This is with the Dollar Tree yarn. I think I like the the up eyes better than the sleepy eyes. Okay, so that's that. And I think that's it for makes, except 9.8 pounds. 9.8 pounds and, oh, I forgot that I had another reason that I don't like double, triple, quadruple stranding things. Let's see, can you see? Uh, you always end up missing a loop somewhere, you know, and I was like maybe five rows up, four or five rows up before I noticed it, and I'm like, I'm not going back. I'm going to have to tack it down at some point or not because, you know, it's mine, but all this to say that the behemoth the beast is done and it weighs 9.8 pounds and uh, I'm so happy to be done with it I'm so happy with it it is the best weighted blanket without things being added to it it's just all the yarn and it's just awesomeness now i gotta find somewhere to put it oh look at that look at that oh my look i just i just love the mashup of colors oh. so yeah oh, the beast is done that i'm happy for all right so one other thing, or two other things. One is, um, I had a little, like I said, retail therapy. I haven't been properly in stores for like months and months, other than running in to get something, months and months. And for some reason, well, let's say for some reason, you know, events of this week has led me to the stores. I went to Joann's, I bought some fabric. Hang on. I went to Joann's and I bought some fabric. So these will be bags. It's hopefully some point next month. Um, I bought, did I buy yarn at Joann's? Oh yeah, I did. Duh, it's right here. I bought yarn at Joann. And I'm not a pink person, but these were just calling to me because I usually get my ombre yarn, uh, Mandela ombre from Walmart because it's cheaper. <laughs> but one of the things that they may be available at certain places but you don't those places don't have all the colors um like hometown usa walmart has it but they don't have all the colors joann's has certain colors um michael's doesn't even carry hometown usa um joann's has mandala they have a whole lot more colors than walmart um i think walmart has like maybe four colors four or five colors but they definitely don't have these and oh, oh look at that it's just it's calling to me and you know what I want to make I mean I know I like them both and I want to put them together but then I also want them individually and I want to um I want to do a virus shawl with this and I want to put them together but then I also want it with just this and then I also want it with just this and I don't want to start another project because, you know, just, but there's something about starting a new project. I don't know what it is. <sighs> but I want a virus shawl out of this. And I'm pretty sure these won't be enough. So I think there's a coupon. Well, I use coupons for these. There's a 50% off coupon in the app. And then um, on Joann's, you can print the coupon and it's just 40% off. So you can go both. And I did. So I may go back and get one another one of each. Oh. Like pink is not me and that soft pink is not me, but the combination with that 
this. I mean, oh, I think it reminds me of wine. <laughs> reminds me of the wine that must be what it is both of them they remind me of the wine all right no i'm not drunk not yet <laughs> no i don't get drunk i haven't been drunk since college i think or maybe once since college i don't know all right so that was joanne's with the fabric and then i stopped at michael's and um i wanted to do a few more hat not hate hats so I bought um, oh, what do you call it I bought excuse me I bought some craft smart but it's just my um, knitting machine was just not having it I was dropping stitches when I held the yarn when I um, put it in the in the guide it's just it was worse when I put it in the guide but it's just this is the tweed um, and the color is i don't know it's covered i wrapped it up it's navy but it's tweed navy and then this is just blue and um i don't think i use this one because i was so fed up with this i tried this about seven times and i just had to keep undoing it and i'm like okay that's it i'm done and then this i haven't tried yet and i don't know if it's because of the tweedy or what but i i was done at that point and the other thing too with my machine my big one it's when there's nothing in it it turns fine but the minute i put yarn it gets it feels very um tight and stuck and there's a lot of um let's see can you see that there's a lot of white powder that comes off it And it's just it's grinding something in there so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to open it and see but I'm afraid of doing that and it probably needs some oiling or, or I don't know something but it needs looking looking at so I don't want to keep going and you know do irreparable damage where I'm gonna have to purchase again I don't want to do that so <sighs> there's that so that was my first Michaels purchase those didn't work out um, oh I also bought oh, it's so soft. I love the new craft smart but I also bought this because I wanted to make an Emaneco out of this as well that or something from Edwards menagerie but um, I want to use the um, spin right not spin right the sprite from the old craftsy I want to use that instead or maybe, but I definitely, I want an Amaneko. It's the Screams cat, doesn't it? And this is the Craft Smart in Cityscape. So, and now I didn't need to buy yarn and I'm gonna need to sneeze. Yeah, so that was a lot of yarn purchasing that I shouldn't have. This for that I'm using right now, these two, these two and I want more. <laughs> and then this was just pissing me off. Uh, you know I could have made like four hats in the time I had to wind and unwind so many times all right so that was that With two more purchases yes I went on a little retail therapy but this one is because I have to make a baby blanket for my niece my father my father my brother is going to be a grandfather <laughs> he's somebody who's always made fun I've had gray hair here of course I've been I've colored it a little since I was 20, 21, it started right here. And uh, the widow's peak. And it was just that for a long time and then interspersed. And then when I hit 40, 41, this just became rude and just took over. And most of the time I leave it alone, but you know, I'm vain enough to not. But all this to say again, um, I know I needed to start on the blanket for my, um, my niece because the baby shower is next month and I need to hurry up because you know I don't like doing blankets and I haven't decided that's the other problem with doing blankets deciding what to do like I take so long going through and finding a pattern that will be easy enough that will keep me interested and then I end up doing either corner corner or, or granny square and I, I for some reason I don't want to do those but I may end up doing it and I may end up doing granny but maybe a granny rectangle I've never done a granny rectangle I don't know but what I ended up doing while I was contemplating it I saw that um, Knit Picks had a little 
ad on Instagram and they came out with the Brava um, speckled. Look at look at they came out with the Brava speckled. This one and the other one I'm going to show you look very similar except one has more of an off-white base and one more of a, a rosy base. So this one I just showed you was cherry speckle and then this one is rosebud speckle. Look at that. At a quick glance you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This one it's like the base is more pink and this one has more off-white base. But they're basically identical other than that. And then they had, I think I got, I got four of the speckles. They had other colors. And then they had just peachy. And the other one that I have elsewhere, I was going to start a hat. But I was telling myself, don't start another project. See how long that lasts. But then there's this one that I got. And it is. Tidal, T-I-D-A-L, Tidal Speckle. That is maybe destined to be a hat. So, those are the colors that my niece wants. She wants the pastel pink, yellow, and then she wants white and gold. I'm going to omit the gold because it just it's not working for me in my head. But, I got, I think, four pinks, three yellows, and four whites, three whites, which may not be enough, and I may have to place another order. Sorry. So these are the colors that I got for the blanket: white, obviously, uh, blush, and custard. So I need to start it so I can have an idea how long each scheme lasts me. And I'm thinking I will intersperse these in there somehow to give it interest. So, yeah. There's no, there's no gold. And I don't want to put like a bright yellow, or maybe actually, that might be good for a pop of color for the in place of the gold. I don't know, but yeah, it's in, I have it put away that I need to start. So there's that, and then, there was something else I was going to show you. Oh, my last purchase. That was just today because I went out to get something and I went to TJ Maxx to get something and, and then I decided to stop at Michael's because I had $7 left on a gift card. Okay, so <clears throat> they have clearance and I would have gladly dove at it before. But, ooh, this might stop. I need to hurry up. But I decided to be judicious. And I got, um, they had their Waterford Big. And it's a number five. It is 75% acrylic, 25%, no, 80% acrylic, 20% alpaca. So, I got that instead. So I got two of each. I got that. Looks like it stops at 25 minutes. <laughs> That stinks. Um, I'm going to have to investigate that. So this is gray. So I got two of each. Um, I think I got two of each color. Oops, shoot. Ah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Just trying to save the plastic. Uh, this is licorice, which is kind of like a khaki multicolor. that the other one that I got was uh, okay all right so it doesn't want to come off the plastic is that one which is moss um there's this one, which is plum. And two more. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Blue multi. 
and the plum and this one I think are my favorite and this is teal yeah so I got two of each why I don't know because because it said alpaca and it was normally ten dollars nine ninety nine and it was on clearance for five so I guess I have high hopes for fall that I can use it um, because it's a number five weight, you know, and it would go far and uh, yeah, I don't know, but I keep looking at myself and I'm hoping I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> oh, there's one other thing. That's basically all I had. Um, I, I found this when I was looking for um, a couple of my stitch books to look for something to do the um, the blanket in, something different. I'm also thinking of a ripple for blanket. Not like the chevron, but like the, the soft wave ripple. So I was looking through my books to see which one I like. But then I came across this, and I don't even know if they're still around. If you guys ever heard of chat books, I, didn't even, I forgot to look up to see if they're still around. But basically, you can log on to there and log right into your Instagram account and if there are pictures that you love off Instagram you can create a book off your Instagram posts and I thought that was a great idea and I did this back in 2017 <laughs> so basically the cover you know you get to put whatever so me and then inside are you know basically I took nice pictures of all my designs so uh, this is Kelsey the Kelsey hat this is Anissa. Um, this is the Victrina hat. This is more Anissa hats. So I, my thought was if anyone, um, this is the Leona hat that I have. Uh, Kalina and Kelsey. Yeah, so basically nice pictures of my patterns. That's the Layla Cowell. And if anyone, you know, asked or wanted to see stuff, it would have been a great way to show um, what my designs were. Um, this is my shell stitch hat and cowl. One of my favorites. One of the hats I've worn. i like, worn out um, my fringed triangle cowl. So, yeah. I used to make a boatload of mermaid tails. And I didn't really... Um, I use patterns for the fin, but for the rest of it, I just winged. Um, back in the day when I was doing my um, my hood and more tails. Um, this is my squish cowl, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. Yep. This is my bumpy shells hat in two different ways. And then in the back... Um, to show how my octos evolve. Look at that. And then some of my favorite um, loveys I used to make. And I used the, like I said, the Emineko. I used the head um, in a lovey. So, yeah. And this was one of mine that I winged. My loveys. And the book was made in 2017, but this was probably made before that. So, yeah. I used to do coasters. They never sold for me. I don't know. Even when I did summer affairs, they never sold. I used to do owl and minion hats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Headbands are always popular. So, yeah. See if they're still around, chat books. I'll see if they're still around. Um, but I thought it was a great idea. And a good way to preserve your stuff, too, you know, in more than one uh, form. So, um, that is all I've got. Oh, arm's still sore. Um, yeah. Thank you guys again um, for the reception of Dobrilla. I really hope you guys post um, pictures and tag me in them. Um, or if you're still on Ravelry, add them um, to the pattern page. Add your projects. I would love to see them, but tag me. Um, come join the group. There's a Dabbling Hook group. There's a link below. Come on over and post um, your finished items or tag me if you, uh, if you post them elsewhere. I would love to see them. But thank you again. Um, thank you again, Miss Dobrila, for letting me use your name. Um, and uh, I will talk to you guys, hopefully, if 
the saved all the recordings and I don't go in apoplectic shock if it doesn't work. I will, uh, I'm gonna go finish my wine and try to breathe. Apparently, the pooch got a special shampoo to help with the smell, but. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later.